Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the floater, one of my favorite shots in basketball. Now, I've heard some people say that they don't like floaters or whatever, but it's ridiculous because what do you expect a player to do? Go into a guy, try to draw a foul? Doesn't make sense. You know, some people might say, shoot a pull-up jump shot under control. But at the rate of speed that your body's going, sometimes that might not really be the best option. So I've learned to shoot floaters, and I'm telling you, they work. Here I have a transition play, pause it. This big down low, okay, more than likely, bigs try to jump, they try to block shots, they try to contest shots. Sometimes floaters happen so quickly that they don't even have a chance to really respond. So they can't even contest, which is exactly what happens on this play right here. Sometimes floaters can really take a defender by surprise. Here we have it in sort of a transition situation. And because of the arc of a floater, you can't block it. And that's what I love about him. Pause. Now, he's forcing me entirely to the baseline right here. And the great thing about it for me is that's where the open spot is. That's where the gap is right now. But that gap closes up when the second defender comes in to help pause, which is fine because, again, if I float it over the top, I've got a bucket. It makes no sense to try to go into him to draw a foul. All I have to do is float it over the top of that defender and the third defender, and neither of them can get to it. Here we have it in a transition situation. Now, he doesn't try to jump or contest this. He just has his hand straight up. Pause. And he just wants to be a presence. He wants to stop me from getting all the way to the basket. And that's fine because with the floater, you don't have to get all the way to the basket. And that is what I love about him. Middle drive here, floater. Now, once I get into the paint, pause. One, two, three, four, five defenders looking at the basketball. However, it's the defender that I just drove past and the bottom defender that are going to try to contest the shot. But because floaters are so quick, neither one of them can get to it, and we scored there. And this play is interesting because the second defender helps really early. See that? He's helping. He's helping. Pause. Again, not in a position to shoot an under-control pull-up jump shot. Not in a position to go into that guy to draw a foul. Best option is to shoot a floater. And because it happens so quickly, he's not even ready to contest. Here's a transition opportunity. Now that one, I will say for most people would be difficult because I did it off of a Euro step and I shot it off of my left foot with my left hand, which is why I strongly suggest that everybody works on both hands because you never know when you have to use it. Pause, here we go. I don't like the results if I shoot it with my right hand, but if I shoot it with my left hand, I know I can get it up and over the top of that defender to float it for two points. The opportunities come a lot, and if you really develop a floater, you will you'll find a lot of scoring opportunities. Turn the corner here, floater. Now, I'm going at a fast rate of speed here, especially off the hesitation. So again, pause. The floater is the best option here, not a pull-up jump shot. Not going into that defender that's going to jump, but floating it right over the top. And if you develop that touch around the basket, I'm telling y'all, you will find so many scoring opportunities.